Nikki Wilson at Children's Hospital says we are now in a national mental health emergency. The crisis outlined by the steep rise in the number of kids, kids who are now seeking care for their mental health. Yeah, but there aren't enough resources available to help the kids who need and want it. On your side is Leah Shields. She is live for us this morning. And Leah, you spoke with one of their vice presidents about this very serious issue. Yes, the VP of Behavioral Health here at Baptist and Wolfson Children's Hospital says the pandemic has been putting a strain on everyone's mental health, especially kids. Get this, they've seen a 300% increase in the number of pediatric visits to the ER for mental health emergencies. They've also seen a 200% increase in requests for outpatient services like seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist. So Dr. Terry Andrews says, along with the children's hospitals, Across the country, they are now joining a campaign calling for more resources. For perspective, she says there are 300 emergency beds here in Northeast Florida for adults. For kids, only 60. Wilson Children's is joining that campaign called the Sound the Alarm for Kids, calling on the federal government for immediate funding. The campaign calls it a crisis, and Andrew says many adults understand the last few years have been straining. It's everybody. Um, you know, everybody has experienced some sort of stressor or fatigue, burnout, um, you know, not only for the pediatrics, for school based, but also even adults. And back in September here on Good Morning Jacksonville, I shared a story of a mom who's crying out for help because she said her daughter went here for emergency services for her mental health and it just took days to get anything done. I talked with her yesterday as a follow up now that she heard about this call for funding. You'll hear from her in the next half hour of Good Morning Jacksonville. And San Marco, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.